Mr. Sterling McPherson, famed trainer and promoter, very familiar with boxing and what's going on in different boxers and all that. This weekend on Saturday, coming up here in Las Vegas, there's the Canelo Alvarez versus Lara fight. Um, who do you think is going to win that fight? What's your prediction for that fight? Uh, you know, I've never, I've said this many, many times leading up to, to the, uh, before and leading up to the Mayweather fight, Canelo. You know, uh, I've never been a huge fan of Canelo. And, uh, you know, I, you know, it's it's one of those he's one of those kind of guys that you know people have made a lot of uh, references about about you know what he can do and what he can, how, how how powerful he is and all the things that he he's able to do and all the great knockouts that he's had. But the fact of the matter is, you know, when you look down that list of guys that he's knocked out, the names don't really ring a bell. They don't really mm -hmm. ring a bell. And, you know, I knew going into the Mayweather fight, a guy like Canelo who comes straight ahead was pretty much a, a prime target for a guy like Mayweather. And uh, that's why I picked Mayweather to beat him decisively, and he did. It wasn't, you know, you're not hearing any arguments about, you know, or even talk about a rematch because the, the fight wasn't anywhere close to being close. Uh, mm -hmm. But, you know, you got a guy in Laura who is, uh, is a pretty straight up kind of a guy. He's a straight up kind of a guy. And someone who's picking uh, Canelo's fights is, is, is saying to themselves, is this the kind of guy we need? Because if he goes straight back in a straight line, like I've seen him, like I've seen Laura do, then he's gonna be in a lot of trouble with Canelo. Uh, only problem with that is this right here, is I'm not so sure that Canelo he, he, did, he did well against Austin Trout, but Austin Trout was a one-handed guy. Hmm. This guy is, is not a one-handed guy, and he can, he can punch with both hands, Alara. He can, he can throw with both hands. Not a, I mean, he, had, has, he hasn't had a tremendous amount of experience. I mean, he's only had, what, 21, 22 fights, Alara. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but what I do see in Lara is uh, a guy like Canelo coming in and being – being, and being right there in front of him, and this guy being able to dump that overhand left over the top of or top top of his uh, Canelo's left hand, and that's real dangerous for uh, Canelo. Uh, so I I I just uh, I don't have the greatest faith in the world in Canelo, but uh, I am going to go with Canelo in this particular fight uh, because I think that uh, uh, I don't know if Laura has really. Uh, is really ready for this type of attack. I'm not. I'm mm -hmm. not all certain that he's ready for this kind of an attack, and uh, be, and because of that, I'm I'm uh, willing to say uh, that uh, I think Canelo will will beat him decisively. Uh, will beat him decisively. But uh, you know, uh, again, uh, it's it's one of those kind of fights that. Uh, you know, in, in this day and age in which we live in, and we watch all of these guys from Lamont Peterson to Devin Alexander to Zab Judah to uh, Matisse and all of these different guys. The, the one thing that I see in all of these guys mm -hmm. is they're week to week. You don't know what you're getting from week to week on any of these guys, even Danny Garcia. You know, you don't know what you're going to get, you know, and that that's what's – and that's what's keeping these guys all in 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 harm in, in, in arm's way as as a champion because anybody can anybody can walk off the street on Saturday night and win this and win these world titles. It's it's the craziest thing I've ever seen in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> what can I tell you? It's, it's the craziest thing I've seen in a long time. So uh, you know, I wouldn't if 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 Canelo got dropped in this fight. Uh, I really I really like to see that and see how he gets up and see how he handles himself after getting knocked down. That's that's that 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 would tell me a lot more about him, but I just haven't seen any of that in this guy. Not yet. Mm -hmm. But I am going to say that I am going to pick him to win against Laura. Uh, because I haven't really seen a whole lot of Laura, but what I have seen of him, he's 
he seems to be fit to part for Canelo going straight because he goes back straight in a straight line when the punches are thrown at him. He goes back in a straight line. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, that, that, and that's a dangerous thing when, when you're fighting against a puncher, you're going back in that straight line where he's able to reach out to you and get you. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you for that prediction.